Excuse me, Dean Ruther. I have something that you need to see. Put on your toe shoes, Serena. It's gonna be hard to dance your way out of this one. I have proof that Serena Vanderwoodson is having an affair with her professor. Miss Sharp, I am here with friends. This is the one night of the year where I get to try and put everything else out of my mind and just enjoy myself. Dean Ruther, may I please have a moment with you? Of course you're involved with this, Miss Waldorf. I told you and Miss Vander Woodson to try and stay off my radar. Dean Ruther, I'm not lying. What's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Professor, or concerns anyone for the moment. Actually, it does concern Colin. He's the one in the photos with Serena. Is that why you resigned your position today? While it's true that I resigned because of my involvement with a student, it's nobody's business who that student is. All that matters is that the responsibility is mine and I took it by leaving my post. That's somewhat admirable, Colin. And while usually it's the professor and the student professor relationships that takes the responsibility for any impropriety, if that student is under suspicion of trading sex for grades in the past, I think we might need to examine the situation a little more closely. Oh, let me get my camera. Here, look as close as you want. Oh, let me help you with that. Whoops. You didn't want to look at those photos anyway because it wasn't Serena in them. It was me. Claire, you don't have to do this. Why would I jeopardize my college career by lying? So, go ahead, fire Colin. Oh wait, he already quit. So let's just go in and enjoy some jeté. Allegro. If I could say something, I for one can fully corroborate Miss Waldorf's story. She was indeed having an affair with Professor Forrester. I know this because I keep tabs on everyone Blair sees and talks to due to my insatiable jealousy. Though she did state something to the effect that he didn't quite satisfy her like I used to. It's true. Don't you see? They're all protecting each other. This is what they always do. I'm sorry. Who are you? Miss Sharp, the reality is that with no proof, I can't tell who is telling the truth. Yeah, well, there was proof until Blair drowned it. Julia, I don't like tattletales much more than I like young women who use their sexuality to further their academic careers. So, if you will please excuse me, I'm going to try my best to enjoy this performance, which hopefully is a little more graceful than the one I've just seen. Good evening. Excuse me, Serena. You took photos of me? What the hell were you thinking? You should have never gotten involved with Serena Vanderwoodson in the first place. I tried to warn you. Oh, yeah, you really had my back. I always knew Ben would eventually turn you against me, but I never thought you would do something like this. It's not that simple. I never meant to hurt you. In this case, the only person you hurt is yourself, because starting now, you are completely cut off. As far as I'm concerned, you are as dead to me as your brother. Colin! Now it's our turn. Your obsession with Serena has grown tiresome. Just because you have no money and delusions of grandeur does not make it okay for you to be a single white trash female. Nate, this isn't me. You know that. How would I ever believe anything you say again? Well, you can believe the part where she does her own hair. You tried to destroy my friendship with Blair, my reputation, my academic career. You failed every time, and now it's time for you to go. I'm trying to. He's talking about Columbia. You don't belong there anyway. If we catch you hanging around again, there will be consequences. And we're really good at payback. Spotted. One ugly duckling exiled. Let's hope she doesn't turn into a black swan. <laughs>